Hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> I really owe you an apology, and you can tell I just did my workout. In fact, can you see that? I'm just about at 500 calories, although I have to be honest. Oh, sorry. You know I'm gonna tuck my bangs in. Um, I have to be honest in that. I put my heart rate monitor on, and then I was um, doing a little work. Not work, kind of work. Just looking something up on my, um, on my computer this morning. So like, I had started this. What I'm saying is like, this is showing an hour and 35 minutes. I really only worked out for a little over an hour. So anyway, all that said, it doesn't really matter in the big scheme of things. My ponytail's crooked. Of course, you know that means I have issues. But anyway, I'm back home, and I'm back home a day early from vacation, which is not really pleasurable, but still, I'll explain that in a minute. Oh, that's good. I don't know if you can see, I, maybe, I, I guess I'm tan, but it doesn't seem like I look as tan. But I will tell you this. I did get some sun, and then the, I'm sorry, this is really bothering me. Um, the last day that I was out, when was, was that Sunday? I think I, I really got some like, um, some sun poisoning. Um, and I can, I can tell when I get it because, um, do I look like a hair, hair ad right now? Stupid. Um, anyway, I got sun poisoning because you can start to see like the little bumps. I never get sunburn, but what I will get is just like, you know, little, uh, it's like a, it looks like you have razor burn or something. That's what it looked like. Um, but anyway, I'm kind of all over the place as usual, but let me give you a quick update. So it is, um, post-workout. Um, it is Tuesday. I think it's Tuesday. Yeah, I was supposed to be coming home today. Tuesday, February 26th. Um, I was supposed to be flying home tonight and getting home really late. I had to come home yesterday because I was told by a little birdie named Michael that, um, there was going to be a, like a pretty bad winter storm. I thought he was joking. Um, but there is supposed to be a like, first it's, it's been called anything from a winter storm watch to a blizzard to a, you know, I don't know, holy hell snow is coming kind of a thing. But all that said is my flight was supposed to be at 7.30 last night, um, getting in kind of late. And with what the weather is predicting for today, I just knew exactly what was gonna happen. Like if I flew out yesterday, I would end up being delayed, 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 and then they'd probably end up canceling everything because of the, the craziness, um, or just I'd be sitting in the airport till one in the morning, and I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that's just not gonna happen. I'm not ending my vacation that way, and I thought, you know what, I'll just come back to, you know, get back to work a day early. So it was kind of a bummer. <laughs> this vacation was kind of cursed, because as you know, I was supposed to leave, I don't even know, what, February 6th or something, and be back on the 14th, and then I had to, you know, I was packed, I was ready to go, um, all excited, and then the day of my flight, I get up at five in the morning, had to call, cancel the limo, cancel the rental car, cancel my flight, because I was sick and I was too sick to travel. And then I had to rebook it out for 10 days, um, which still cost me uh, money to change my flight. And then I go and I have this when I come back. I'm trying to think, something else happened. Um, of course, one of the other things that happened is when I was originally packed for the trip to leave the first time, I just, <laughs> I was not about to unpack and repack. So I left my suitcases packed in my bedroom for like 10 days. But then like a moron, one of the things that I forgot to pack was I packed my video camera. <laughs> you guys that are watching this probably have to go, Kelly, you screw up something every single trip. That's right. Um, and I don't do it on purpose because it was really annoying. I packed my video camera, I packed my tripod, I didn't pack this, and I also didn't pack my um, my cord that would allow me to upload any photo or any content until I came home. So that was the only thing I forgot. I forgot, I mean, I packed everything else, but I get down there and I'm like, why even shoot video? Because I can't upload it till I get home and then it looks ridiculous to be uploading. I've done that before where I've shot video and then I get home and I, and I go to make it live and I'm thinking, this is stupid, it's 10 days old. Let me give you a quick couple of updates. Number one, I did not cheat and have anything off of my plan um, the entire time. Let me also show you, in case you haven't been following me on Instagram, which of course you should be, Kelly Alexa on Instagram. 
I'm gonna just show you what I said no to. Hold on. While I was down there, Aubrey, I had I certainly had a whole lot of this, a whole lot of salmon, fresh salmon. Um, Aubrey, who's the daughter of Kelly, my BFF, and that's where I was staying in, in Miami, made these. Can you see this? Cheddar biscuits. She was making them for her boyfriend. He was at the uh, NFL Combine training, or Combine, whatever, something. Um, and she's making these biscuits, and she's like, you don't have to tell Michael. And I'm like, I, I, I just, I know that I would not be able to eat these and not tell him, so I didn't have any. I was, my, and don't, trust me, I'm leaving that picture on there, because whenever I want to say how good I'm being, I'm just gonna be like, Michael, let me just refresh your memory and show you the biscuits that I did not eat, because I'm a badass. Um, so, and then also a lot of seaweed salad. Uh, but no, I did not have uh, anything off of my plan on vacation. I didn't drink. Um, it's not that big of a deal for me to, you know, it's not like I go on vacation to go drink and party, you know, like, I, like I'm 23. I've been down that route. Um, but there certainly were times um, that I would have loved to have gone to my favorite deli down there in Miami. I think it's called Roasters and Toasters now. It used to be called Arnie's. They have the best turkey Reuben sandwich. I am in love with turkey Reuben sandwiches like you would not believe. But um, Michael is changing my diet this week. Um, I actually have to call him in a minute to find out. And then I do owe you guys an update to tell you what we've done. So I'll tell you what, what we've done like the first six weeks. Um, certainly I'm very happy with my results, but also really quickly, just to go back to that. So I was on vacation, um, I did not cheat. I, I brought my, like I, like I do on most trips, I brought my oats, I brought my, hold on, I actually still have, I'm not gonna lie, this is what I was bad at. This is the one thing I was bad at, was taking my vitamins while I was gone. So um, I have this, hold on one second, one second. Um, this is my bag, <laughs> looks quite appropriate for Miami. This is not drugs, people. This is my, I've, you know, my Genetics HD, my Pro Sculpt. I bought a little thing of cinnamon while I was down there for my coffee. Um, what is this? Glutamine. Um, BC branch chain amino acids. I packed it a whole lot of extra. Um, Super Pump 250, which of course I'm gonna tell you. Our folks at BSN sent me some of their <clears throat> pre and post workout. Um, uh, good stuff, which you know I'm in love with their lean dessert protein powder, which is what I use every day to make my protein pancakes. Although Michael was telling me for a week I'm not allowed to have any protein pancakes or protein powder, which upsets me greatly, but I'm gonna listen. It's just for a week. And then, so we're doing, we're, we're altering my diet for a week to experiment with something. And then after that, we're gonna be starting to add in a lot more stuff. Uh, but I'm very happy with the results. It was very, it really was not that difficult for me to eat um, the way I've been eating. Um, typically I'd wake up, um, I would go for a run every morning, so I did a ton of running. Um, when I landed, geez, I'm already at eight minutes, landed in Fort Lauderdale, I went to go see my BFF Jay, who's my first trainer ever, you know, one of my favorite, favorite people in the world to train with. Um, I stayed with him and his wife for a day and a half, if you will. Um, trained mostly legs myself that day, and then he came and finished with me. Holy hell. I love training. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. He showed me a couple new moves, and I was like... And, and I, I remember he used to say this before, but he's like, each machine, he'll sit and figure out like 70 different ways of using one machine. I'm not lying. As far as where you put your legs, how you turn around, how you face it, lightweight, heavyweight. We were doing the hack squat and well, that's all I'm going to say is I'm going to be doing that from now on. Two, two different moves that I hadn't done before on the hack squat, which was pretty awesome. Um, so anyway, um, stayed with him and, and I would go and get up in the morning and, and um, go running. So I brought, although this trip I did bring all of my typical DVDs, my Les Mills Combat, my Turbo Fire, all that, I really didn't do those. <gasps> I have to tell you what happened with the DVD. That was the other cursed thing that happened the day before I left. I'll get back to that in a second. So I brought all my DVDs, but really what I did pretty much every day and every evening, because you know I do cardio in the morning and cardio in the evening, is um, I went running. So I would, I would leave the house, I would get up, I would have my Genetics HD, 
and then I would run out in, in the neighborhood, it's just beautiful, um, and I'd run for about half an hour, maybe 35 minutes, you know, with my, you know, kind of walking and starting to get warmed up, run and then and cool down. So I'd run for about half an hour, 35 minutes or so, come back to the house, um, and then I would have my oatmeal, I'd have my coffee, I'd have my um, scrambled eggs, egg whites or protein powder, um, and then we'd go off for the day. And then really a lot of what I had the rest of the time was I always made sure I had nuts with me, like almonds, um, some cashews. Um, so I had nuts with me. If, I, if we went out for sushi, I would have sushi, with just sashimi, um, seaweed salad. Um, what else did we have a lot of? I ordered fish a couple times, um, some egg white omelets, which were great. Um, grilled chicken, like a couple times when I went to the beach I stopped by um, Wendy's on the way or Burger King or whatever and I just ordered uh, two plain grilled chicken breasts. Um, one time I think I ordered um, two just plain hamburgers um, and I just had the, the beef with a, a fork because I had a beef meat day. Uh, one day we grilled out, we had um, tilapia chicken, portobello mushrooms and steaks um, and then I had some salad that night. Um, but all that to say, like it just, and what was funny is they had given up sweets for Lent, so they were like not having any desserts or anything crazy like that. Um, and uh, so yeah, I have to tell you guys, it really was not, you know, there were a couple of times where we'd drive by a cupcake place and I'm like, oh damn. But it just, I don't know, I'm just kind of in this mode and I feel good and I'm proud of what I'm doing and you know I guess whenever I'm really tempted, a lot of you guys have been asking me this, like what do you do when you're tempted and how are you staying on track? I just, number one, the first month of this year that I, I started you know changing up my diet and changing up my workout program, I just really told myself you are doing this, you are sticking to this, you are not gonna you know, get frustrated. And the first week or so, I did. I got on the scale and I was frustrated because I'm like, I am working harder than I've ever worked before. I'm working out you know, more than once a day. I'm, I'm strict on my diet and this is it. But that was too, you can't be myopic. You have to look for the long term. And you have to realize it's like a jar. If you keep putting pennies in it and you keep putting nickels and dimes and you keep investing in that, it's growing, even though you might only see it, you know, in the beginning, kind of like this little candle here. It might only look like it's filled up to here. Inevitably, if you keep adding these little stones, it's going to fill up. All about the metaphor. So, um, but anyway, whenever I am tempted by something, if I'm watching Food Network and I see something that I like, or, you know, again, when I was on vacation and, and I wanted to order something, you know, I just keep telling myself, like, I'm not supposed to do this right now. And, and I'm not saying that I'm never gonna have that. I'm not living on chicken breasts and protein powder the rest of my life. Will I be watching what I'm eating the rest of my life and working out? Yes. Will I be able to have more indulgence, indulgent meals on a regular basis? Hell yes. So it's time to be really serious right now and say no, and it gets easier and easier to say no. That's all, because then, you know, you kind of feel proud of yourself because you're like, Here's another opportunity I had to screw up and I didn't. So um, that's kind of what's keeping me going. But did a lot of running. Um, now once I got to Miami because I was staying at Kelly's house, um, she doesn't do really, she's yoga woman, like kick ass major yoga woman, which I'm getting to in a second. Um, so did a ton of yoga while I was down there, which was awesome, got my butt kicked. Oh shoot, there's a DVD I wanna show you guys. Um, it's probably in my other container. Uh, my other suitcase, which I'm still unpacking. Um, so I did running every morning and then I did yoga. So I didn't do as much, um, I didn't really do any of my hardcore weight training while I was in Miami. So I'm definitely excited to get back to that. But um, what was I just going to say? I had a train of thought I was going with there. Um, I'll get back to that in a second. Anyway, um, so I was consistent, uh, I worked out, felt great. It certainly felt great to do yoga again. And yoga and the running actually too. So kind of doing some running, which is gonna make me wanna head to Lifetime. Yeah, it's a whole lot different when you're in Florida and you can just run outside in the beautiful sun as opposed to me, I'm gonna need to go. Sure, I could run outside and then my nose is gonna run all over my face. And I really don't have outdoor cold running clothes. Um, so I'll be running it at lifetime. But I really enjoyed the running and then the yoga was just, it was kind of like I was a drug addict who hadn't had it in a long time. And, and once I was in that yoga class, I was like immediately going, which as you can see, I have my yoga music on right now. I was like 
this is what I've been missing. This is the balance. It's such a perfect balance to, you know, all of the hardcore training I'm doing and I'm so excited. Um, so I'm going to be going back to um, my hot yoga place a lot. That's going to be in the schedule a lot and I'm very, very excited about that. So, um, plus you'll be seeing a lot more from Kelly and her boyfriend Gabe who are both incredible yoga people, um, as well as some other folks down there in South Florida because they're joining the Fit Philatral family and they're fabulous. So we'll get to that, but yeah, state of my diet um, really was not that difficult. Um, and then the reason that I brought this up here today to make sure I mentioned it is in one of the, um, actually in a couple of the yoga classes, um, one of the things I had mentioned to Kelly beforehand was that whenever I'm in a yoga class, I don't know if you guys have, I have really high arched feet. So if this is my two feet facing you, you know, my arch is really high in the middle. And automatically, if I go on one foot on in anything, like if I was just standing here now, I'm gonna start to tilt that way. My legs tilt that way. So Kelly was like, what you need to do to start, you know, training your, your legs to strengthen and your toes and your feet to strengthen is, you know, put this block in the middle, in between your legs and squeeze really, really hard. And, and keep doing that all day. So, yeah, sounds really inappropriate. That's why my thighs are hurting. <laughs> this is so funny. I was telling Michael, I'm like, why are my thighs hurting in between? Like I didn't do leg training since last Wednesday and I, this is why, because of putting this block. So if you put the block in between your legs, uh, on your upper thighs, okay, so I have it there right now, and you're squeezing really hard you have your, your feet shoulder width apart and you're squeezing really hard with your thighs. Okay, just try that. That's gonna force your legs to go down on the floor, not to mention it's gonna make your thighs really rock hard while you're squeezing it. But then in this other class by this, oh, I'm gonna have to show you guys the, on my next video. I'll show you what, what her name is. Uh, it was, she does a really athletic form of yoga and she's also a runner. So she's all about, you know, training your, you know, opening up your hips and kind of complimenting people that run. But one of the things that she did in her class was she actually did this whole class and she was like, we had the, the um, block between our legs um, and all, we did all the moves. So we did chair pose with this in between our legs. So imagine chair pose, keeping this between your legs going all the way down like this and then uh, go up on your tiptoes and then, you know, bouncing up and down, which is kind of like that version of the sissy squat that Michael taught me. And then I changed it by going up on my tiptoes. So, you know, imagine you're down here like this, you've got the block between your legs. So your, your thighs are squeezing it together and then you're up on your tiptoes and you're bouncing. <laughs> that looks really funny. Um, but anyway, all that said, that's why I got the block out because I'm going to make sure that during the day I, so I have the block now and I'm squeezing my, my thighs together and it's starting to force my inner legs, um, my inner thighs to make those feet grip the ground better because it's definitely a problem. So if you get one of these, try that at home. Kids, try this at home. Um, so that said, now I need to go and I need to make my breakfast because I did get up a little bit late today and I do want to head to the store. It's not snowing yet. It's supposed to start snowing right around noon. So I want to head out to the store get myself some groceries because I'm going to be making a lot of this a little bit later. Got to get some salmon. Um, have to make sure. Oh, actually the folks at Blue Diamond sent me, what did I do with it? Um, some more Blue Diamond almonds, which I'm kind of living on, on a lot of Blue Diamond almonds. I love their smokehouse almonds. That's one of my favorites. Um, in fact, I had to leave it with the TSI guy because he's like, you have a little bit too much weight in this. And I'm like, Really? Are you really? I mean, my charm did not work on him because usually I'm like, oh, is it really too heavy? And they're like, that's okay. And he's like, if you could just take a few things out, I wanted to say, are you new here? Seriously. Um, anyway, I got to go. I'm almost at 20 minutes. Glad to be back. Sorry about the delay. I will talk to you soon and happy snow day for those of you that are up here in Chicago. Mr. Flo, there you go. God, I still don't even look tan, but I really did get some tan. <laughs>